Welcome back. We are here with spouse number six, Hank Vator. He is the child of Lilith Vator. And honestly, he is not as cute as he looks like from far away. So moving on, we are going to marry him. We are going to move in the last member of the Vator household, which is Rocio. And we will be bulldozing our first lot. Very, very exciting. And we will also be, um, you know, working our way through Hank. So we'll marry him, we'll have our dinner party, we'll cheat on him, and then we'll kill him. So that is what the plan is. So we have invited over Rocio. That's not her. She already entered the house and walked away. But um, here she comes, Rocio. She's the last member of the Vitor household. Welcome, welcome. And we are going to get friendly enough with her in order to move in together. If you'll remember, she was pregnant the last time we saw her, so she now has a son named Everett, and he is actually a vampire, I think. Yeah, because she's a vampire. She is the child of Hank, actually. I think she's Hank's daughter. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's a little awkward for everyone involved, um, but we are going to be cheating on you with your daughter. So that's what's going on. We are going to start getting really friendly and then we will move both her and Everett into the household. Okay, hi Hank. Hank's going to go check out the fountain. Oh, so is Rocio. Where's everybody going? Okay, let's, let's all move in together, you guys. Let's all move in together. We can move in together under the guise of like, come on, Hank, the rest of your family should move in with us. Oh, Ralph still has the bag over his head. Okay, so we're moving in both her and Everett, and we're taking all their money. So this is good. We made some money. We're going to sell the lot furnishings, and we are going to age up the baby because obvious reasons. I'm not, I'm not taking care of the baby. So we are going to do that. I'm just checking out who the baby's father is. Luckily, we will get some child support, but I think he also lives in Forgotten Hollow, so we will be able to... I'm bring him into the fold here shortly. So I'm trying to age up this baby. It is not working. I did put something in the way. Okay, I'll move that. Obviously this build was play tested. <laughs> so here we go, aging up the baby and then we are going to um, we are going to bulldoze a lot. So this is really exciting. Our first lot that we are getting rid of, as you know, the goal of this is to empty the world, so we will be um, starting with this lot, the Vator household. We are starting with Forgotten Hollow. Let me try and remember, there's only three other lots in Forgotten Hollow, so now there's two, because one of them is empty already. So here we go, this is, this is good. We have um, bulldozed our first lot. I'm very happy about it, and um, you know, it's progress. We have two more lots to bulldoze, and then we will be done with Forgotten Hollow. So this is great, you guys. This is really great. We are making actual tangible progress. Also, we're filling up the basement, which is creepy and also awesome. So I love, I love that we can just see the collection that we're acquiring here. Okay, what is she doing next? Oh, we have to marry Hank. We actually have to get married to Hank. Why are you going all the way over here? Okay, so we are going to propose to Hank. He said yes, and it's not weird at all that we're proposing to him near where we're going to put his urn. So we also need to get a portrait of Rocio. Oh, look, her with her son. Cute, cute. Um, Luna's child is going to have two older brothers. Very nice. So Luna is going to paint the portrait of Rocio. And that is what is going on there. Actually, I think I'm going to need to I'm going to need to stop this narration and then come back because my computer is on 5% battery. Okay, I'm back. Um, I am back and plugged in and for some reason my battery has been dying really quickly lately and I probably only have myself to blame because um, I do the thing where I just leave it plugged in all the time and then it ruins the battery. So that's where we're at. 
let me get my bearings again. Uh, we are making a portrait of Rocio, and maybe it's Rocio? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments if you know how to pronounce that. So, I'm going to keep saying Rocio. She's not going to be around for long, so it's fine. Um, and we are making her portrait so that we can put it downstairs. And then we have to get married. We have to get married to Hank. Oh, it's a masterpiece. Um, but we do have to get married, and then we have to actually go through the motions. So here we go. And I'm just going to save because, you know, you never know when your game's going to crash. So we also have to have the dinner party. So we have to get married, have the dinner party, cheat with Rocio, and then kill Hank. That is what is on the agenda for the rest of this video. We have emptied one lot. Ugh, that just feels so good. It just really does. It really feels good. So here we go. They are getting married. She's also pregnant. Oh, we'll make sure to have the baby in this one too, even if we have to um, hang out for a little while longer. Just because I want the baby to be born in this video. I mean, it is Hank's baby. This is the Hank video. We will serve the buffet so that the um, guests at the dinner party can eat something. And then we'll go upstairs. Now that we're married, we can start making our move. So here we go. She's going to be a little romantic. Do some flirting, pickup lines, complimenting appearance. That's what I always start with. And we're moving up in the world. Trying to get in that first kiss. And then we will also um, ask her to be our girlfriend. We can do that as well. Oh, and there's a festival right now. You know what? We should go to it. The Humor and Hijinks Festival. So let's go with the whole family. Oh, they're woohooing. Okay. That's what happens when you have autonomous woohoo turned on. Oh, that was Paxton's room. Um, okay. Well, now she's frozen. So we need to reset her before we can go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. It'll be nice. It's a nice little... Um, break from spending all of our time at the home lot. Oh, and the whole family group came. That's the only problem with clubs, is sometimes that happens. You go somewhere and the whole group comes. So we might as well start flirting in front of Hank. There we go. He's mad now. So we are flirting in front of him. And now we're going to use him to make sure the pranksters win by pranking him because we don't care what he thinks of us now we already cheated on him actually their romance is still really high considering and that is what is going on here yep the pranksters won congratulations now we're going to head home any minute now okay so the kids are enjoying themselves. Very nice. There's only one thing to left to do, Hank. Go to the basement. How are we going to kill Hank? What are our options here? Stab him in the back? Okay. Alrighty. And then he got up with that little river of blood. Okay. She doesn't usually get blood on her. I mean... <laughs> She usually stays pretty clean. Okay, we are so close to filling up this wall, you guys. Two more. No, three more, because Rocio is the next video. Three more spouses, and we filled up this wall. I love it. We're going to go around this room first before we go into the next room. Also, I wanted to replace the plant here because I felt like it was getting in the way when I was trying to take pictures. So, here we go. Thank you. We don't have... Oh, no, we do. Well, we don't have any regular spouse sim urns yet. 
we just have um, what's his name? We have Paxton, but he's in the other room. So we are quickly going over to the other house in Forgotten Hollow in order to meet the Sims whose home we will be commandeering next time. So I just quickly introduce Luna all to all of them so we can grab them in the future. And then we are going to head out to a restaurant, you know, enjoy, enjoy the rewards of finally bulldozing the first lot. So that is what is going on there. And... Um, actually, it doesn't really work out because the whole family club comes again, and then they totally ruin everything. See, look, there they all are, just running around. Oh, wait, well, she's running around because she's, everyone's scared because a murder just took place. Whoops. And so I'm trying to get them all to sit down, but they don't want to sit at the table. It's whatever. So I'm going to order for the table. And we'll get some wine or, or whatever for the adults and then get cannolis for everybody. Can you sit down? Sit. Okay. So the waitress looks really unhappy too. Everyone's okay. Goodbye, Ralph. Goodbye. Oh, Ralph is going to school. Okay. Well, you know what? It's fine. So um, everyone hates Luna. That's great. We did get cannolis, though, but actually Luna can't eat human food, so now we have a problem. Okay, well now she's getting sick in the bathroom because she can't eat cannolis. That's really disappointing. If I could never eat cannolis again, I'd be sad, too. I'd eat them anyway and then throw up as well. I understand. So anyway, we're going home because this isn't working. Everyone is totally commandeering our space. So we are headed home now. It was just a way to pass the time, you know. We'll also find other ways to pass the time until the baby is born. So there is that. And I think that we're making really great progress here. I actually um, did all of the playing for these videos today. So I've just been sitting here for like hours doing voiceovers for, for five videos. It's a lot. But... Um, I'm really enjoying this Let's Play already. I like that there is is concrete progress with the bulldozing of lots and the portraits and stuff. I, I enjoy that sort of thing where you can see how you're doing and see the progress that you've made and that there is kind of like a, a finish line in sight. Anyway, um, Kyle has invited Luna over. Kyle is Luna's brother, if you'll remember. And... Um, he invited her over just to hang out, and that is good. I'm just going to have them watch a movie. She's, oh, she's pregnant. Wait, wasn't she pregnant before? Is she still pregnant from that time, or is she pregnant again? I don't know. Lifespan is on short, so by the time we get around, um, things could be different. Because we're not, we're not doing Newcrest second. You know what, maybe we'll do Newcrest last, because Newcrest is the one that we filled up with the Clark family. Hmm. But then, I mean, by that time, there's no family members left. No, there will be, because Kyle's a vampire, and so is Diana. I don't know, we'll think about it. I'm thinking we might just go in order, actually, of the worlds. But, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Not really coming up with a plan that far in advance. We still have, like, probably, like, ten videos before we even move out of Forgotten Hollow. We'll see. Okay, so we're heading back home again. They watched a movie. They're all good. And then we will um, have the baby. And then we'll wrap up this video. So, let's... Oh, our money trees went down to babies again. Ugh, that's so annoying. Come back, money trees. I want you to yield money. Okay. Well, she's having the baby now. We are going to name the baby Maddie. I still have a few names left from my list from the last Let's Play. And uh, we're also going to age her up into a toddler. So now we have three kids. Oh, boy. I guess it's, you know, pretty good for our household size that Paxton is no longer with us. If 
But anyway, we are into screenshot territory now. This was the sixth spouse, Hank, and uh, he did pretty good. We also had his baby. So welcome to the world, Maddie. She's also a vampire, and she has her mother's creepy red eyes. Love it. So we will be working with spouse number seven, Rocio, and adding in the eighth cheat, which will be in the new household. So that is really exciting, and I am looking forward to it. I hope you are too. So we will be doing that in the next one, and here comes the busted-looking family tree because there are too many spouses in it. So I will catch you guys next time.